Hello, my twins. This is Miss Kelly with Lovers Lane Tarot, and I'm coming to you with your August 2020 love reads. So, my Torians, this is my take number three of trying to get you all's recording done. Um, and last week I went through this with Scorpio, so I guess this week I don't know. Is it uh, is it a Scorpio or a Torian who is just being totally, totally uh just unpredictable and um <laughs> a little difficult um not necessarily giving you a hard time but giving you a run for your money you know that type of energy um not in a bad way at all but um yes i feel like you two have each other on the chase in some type of way <laughs> <coughs> excuse me but let's get started with your read. First, I would like to say thank you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing um, the videos. And if you would like to donate to the channel, um, you can find all that information in the description box below. And um, <laughs> this is just really, really weird. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just completely just like, wait a minute. Like, this is take number three. But okay, let's get into this. So you have a soul tie with someone, my Torian, that you are very in love with. I don't know if you're expressing it, but um, right now it's saying your love situation is calling for you to give love. Um, and this is with this card, it's like, you know, people are probably expressing to you how they feel about you, how much they love you. Um, how much they care for you and this is not just about love intimate like intimate love this could also be about friendship this could be about um you know people that you consider really uh that you may consider family that may not necessarily be blood line family but <clears throat> just all excuse me all different aspects of relationships like are you reciprocating or are your relationships being one-sided um, but this right here is just saying, you know, and look how the moon is smiling up behind them because they're exchanging, they're having a bond, they're bonding in that moment. So that's what they're saying. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you want to bond with your person, showing love is the best way to do it. Giving love back is the best way to do it. Okay, <clears throat> so right now, Taurus, I see that you are focused on your prosperity and abundance, you know, right now, you've been working really, really hard um, on, you know, your goals and your aspirations and taking care of your family and your responsibilities, but right now, you are enjoying your prosperity and abundance. All that hard work that you've put in, um, you're starting to reap your reward. And it's saying, you know, um, it's time for you to start meeting people in your life with love. And if we're speaking on a specific connection, as far as a love connection, yes, it's time for you to give love back. You know, you can't hide your feelings. See what we have here. Ooh. Okay, so go the distance. So so far we have we have unfinished symphony. A change in the wind. Imagine. So with this combination, I feel like there is an un there is a there is some unfinished business within a connection. Um, you all may not have ended on the best terms. Um, <clears throat> some harsh things might have been said to one another. There may have been ghosting, um, but at the same time. This when they says why it says unfinished symphony. A symphony is in is joyous. It's um um uh, harmonious. So you see, like you feel like you and this person make beautiful music together, but there's also something that um 
some there's also some areas where you guys clash but this person um, or this connection has has brought you some sort of harmony and hope and love and peace because if you look at her she's at peace she's remembering something like a time that she was happy or um or you know that that moment when you're just lost in thought and you're thinking about that person a change in the wind so within this connection a change is coming um and more likely that change is whatever so if you guys were you know having a lot of arguments and um it's been a lot of strife what this is saying is they're going to be there's going to be a change in the wind and this is interesting we have one three two um it didn't come out one two three but it came out one three two um so those numbers might be significant to you in some way um but there's a change in the wind so there's going to be a change within this connection in this scenario but it's saying if whatever you want it's time for you to start manifesting um envision the life that you want for you and this person within this connection and and keep building upon that don't switch your energies based on the circumstances that's happening there's going to be strife in any relationship but you have to really figure out is this person worth it that's why they're saying it's unfinished you don't necessarily have to stay with this person but there is the um you are being called to uh mend a relationship or get some sort of closure from this situation but it's saying you're going the distance and you're almost at the finish line if you see you see this tiger is almost at the finish line but as you see there are certain parts of himself that he's losing trying to get to the end of this goal trying to get to this goal or trying to get to this finish line now these could be good parts of yourself or they could be not so good parts of yourself you know but um, as you see, some of him is shedding, going over into this new space. Why is unfinished symphony a change in a wind here? Why is unfinished symphony and a change in the wind here? Unfinished symphony and a change in the wind. Mending. What did I say? There was something that needed to be mended within this situation. Like, there's been some sort of um, strife, you two not getting along. You, Like I said, at this point, you may not even be speaking. Because when this mending comes out, mending comes out over unfinished symphony. It's like, yeah, something very major happened to where, though, there's a disconnect at this point within the connection. So I'm changing the wind and imagining that. And the thing of it is, like I said, I feel like if you want to change within this connection, all you have to do is just put your mind to it, manifest what it is that you want. And if it's for you, you know, and it's for the highest good of everyone, you know, um, you know, spirit is not going to deny you. But just make sure you know what you're wishing for when you're asking when you're manifesting. You make sure you ask for it the way that you would like it. Be very specific, okay. So, a lot of times it's good to just write that stuff out. Watch changing on and imagine it's time to go, okay. So, I feel like I feel like there's some truth that needs to be um, released. Someone needs to stop hiding behind their feelings and hiding behind a mask. <clears throat> because it's tending to cause conflict um, within the relationship because someone is not choosing to open up and that's why I think it's saying with this not I think I feel with this here that's why it's saying give love because you're not showing who you really are you're not showing your true feelings you're not really stating how you feel and it may be coming out in a very um sorry in a very unproductive manner as you see the truth is going to come out 
it's going to be revealed. And as you can see, the mask is now under the owl's feet. He's ready to receive. That's giving and receiving. Because as you see, he's letting his heart out. But with that door being open, it's also allowing love to come in. Okay. So why is mending and trying to go here? Why is mending and trying to go here? Why is mending and trying to go here? Hmm. Exchanging gifts. Okay, so to the sea. To the sea is calling for you to go and heal and cleanse. Cleanse yourself of all things that no longer serve you. Cleanse yourself of all um cleanse yourself to from the past from your past hurts. Um once you do this a lot of times you are oh you're more open um to receiving as well as giving you you know what it takes at that point to have a successful relationship um when it comes to cleansing yourself it also helps you gain perspective in what direction you will want to take next okay now, this exchanging gifts, this goes back to, again, giving and receiving, okay? Are you just giving, 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 giving? Or are you just receiving, 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 but you're not giving anything back? That's a problem. You know, it, it keeps things unbalanced, and there's no, if there's no balance, and, you know... In your love life or within the connection or within your um relationship it's going to be off kilter someone's going to feel slighted that's going to cause conflict when people start to feel slighted it causes major conflicts all right so let's get some tarot and see what's going on here what messages do you have for my twins in love for all this 2020 spirits and guides. What messages do you have for Right now. That is a challenge in this connection. Hierophant came back on again. So the challenge is you're waiting on a higher level of commitment. And you're waiting for some sort of change in a commitment. You want a change. What is the outcome? That's crazy. That flipped right over the hangman. So right now you are paused. You're waiting. You're taking a pause. You're not manifesting anything. 
Um, but you're going to wait on my hand. I hope you meant right. What is Taurus person's overall energy? What is Taurus? Mm -mm, saying all those flip over. I ain't going to like that. Um, what is Taurus person? Ooh, Taurus, your person feel like you're a burden? And they feel oppressed by this relationship? Challenge is someone being single and then the death card. And someone not being happy and content. Someone feels discontent. But again, remember I said um, I saw that change. Someone wants change. Um, and what's, what's the best outcome? Person. This person, and this is the um, oh, the universe and the will of fortune. So, Taurus, you just closed out a cycle, and um, you are moving forward in a very, very good way. Um, it looks like you're going to be teaming up, collaborating with people. Um, Things are going to work out in your favor um, for this set of Taurians. You know, um, your person is single, um, but they do want something to transform or to change. Or, I mean, they feel like this is over, but your person looks like they're moving forward in a positive way. And let's, I want to clarify... Um, Hmm. Take a look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify a few things. We have the three of pentacles. So, I mean, some of you also want to collaborate and partner up. That's the only three that I see. Well, no, three of them. Um, so are you feeling like? All right, let's see. Why is the Madge in reverse? That's too many. Why is the Madge? That's what I'm taking from the situation. So I'm going to show up. Huh. Why is the magic in reverse there? Why is the magic in reverse? the two of swords and the ace of wands because someone felt like that they weren't able to someone to me feels like they were going into something blindly like not with all the information About a new beginning, so there might be a third party. Three of Pentacles about collaborating and wanting to team up. There's a lot of conflict, um, a lot of interference. People in um, people opinions and people in people business. Why is the hangman here? So you decided to take a step back from something that you either saw online or there's some sort of um, hard truth that you received or that you had to give to this person. Um, why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? Thank you. Did you thought someone had a lot of player behavior in and out. We have a queen of wands here at the bottom. They might have felt like, I mean, this 
person is beautiful and they're um they're ambitious they're passionate they know what they want they go after what they want um they're very action oriented why is oppression here why is oppression here why is oppression here why is oppression here Okay, so your person feels like it was a burden. Ooh, and the death card came out again twice. So there's some definitely some major transformation and change going on within your scenario, Torian. Um, but someone felt like that there was some sort of unhealthy bond or something. They felt bound to this situation, but it I feel like it had a lot of negative undertone, and that's why. Mm, so someone had an unhealthy bond with an empress. Um, or this, oh, you wanted a new beginning with this empress, but I feel like you felt like that this bond with this empress was unhealthy. That it was a lot of negativity, temptation. Um, Still there. Let's see. Let's play the pentacles. So I mean, so I paid the cups. So I paid the cups here. Paid the cups. Paid the cups. That's too many cards. But one card. Paid the cups. Two of the most. Paid the cups. Paid the cups, please. Paid the cups. Mm. The high priestess. So, someone is keeping a secret about making you an offer or wanting to make you an offer. I feel like they're keeping a secret, too, about how they feel. I mean, granted, the Page of Cups is not a grand gesture. It's more of like an apology. Um, but, you have this Knight of Pence here, which moves kind of slow, but... They are coming with stability and they're coming with a grounded offer. Um, and they're serious about it. It's going to come slow. They're going to move a little slow. It's not going to be swift, but it's coming. And I feel like that's the change and transformation is that they're going to try to come out of this page energy and try to step their self up into, make, into a night in order to try to make you a stable offer. That's what they want to do. Okay, let's see. High Priestess. What is the secret? What is the secret? Uh oh. Oh boy. Got this Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I don't like taking cards. I don't know what to watch. Um, what is the secret? I have the High Priestess here. What is your secret? Thank you. Hmm. Got hangman and then the four of pentacles. So the secret is that someone is holding back their feelings. They're holding back their feelings. They're holding on to their money. They're hold they're just holding on. They're not releasing. They're not being open to receive. Someone is very defensive and, you know, you feel like you're fighting off people. Yes, you see hands, but you don't see people. So are you really fighting off others or are you, are you feeling backed in a corner? Like, um, this is about you standing your ground and you feeling like you have to defend yourself. So you kind of made your person, your person feels like they have to hold back. They're taking a moment. Mm. So justice is coming within this situation from the universe, the wheel of justice. That's major. 
that is major and then the four of wands so i feel like that maybe you guys are going to be lucky enough to be able to start a new foundation with each other um, to where as though now the relationship will be more balanced. You are giving and receiving love. It's not a one way, you know, no one is feeling like they're being slighted. But I can't ignore that I do see like some third party energy here. Um, look, as soon as I said that, Ten of Pentacles came out. So this is legacy. Um, people who have a wife, kids, um, a home, dog. They've been together at least 10 plus years. They've acquired and established um, quite a bit of material as well as uh, monetary gains with each other. Mm. What about this Empress? What about this Empress? Now, we did see a Queen of Wands at the bottom. So, again, that's more likely like, you know, a lot of people, they use the Queen of Wands as the mistress because she's so fiery and passionate. Um, and she didn't come out, but she was at the bottom of the deck. So, hmm. So, okay. So, someone felt like someone was lying about them having a spouse. Because, oh, the empress can be the wife, a baby, uh, not the wife, child's mother, a new beginning, the birth of something, um, a birth of an idea of a child, it, you know, as you can see in this, she's pregnant. Um, but it became clear that someone had someone else and it caused heartbreak. And I feel like because someone wasn't being completely honest. And being as though this person was not being completely honest, it made you take a pause and step back. And you started to hold on to your feelings and your emotions, which closed, which you, you kind of cut this person off and was put, and closed yourself off. Um, what is justice here? Okay, now we're going to close this off. Ace of Pentacles. So, the outcome is your person wants a new beginning with you. Um, instability. Um, Torian. They have, um, I mean, this is not feelings, and I'm not going to lie to you. I don't see a lot of cups. So this, to me, outside of, we had that page of cups. Um, I mean, we don't even have the knight of cups, which is at least showing that you're falling in love with this person. I don't see a lot of cups here. Yeah. But that's the issue. Um... You're feeling like things are one-sided within this situation. So let's get some twin flame messages. Here it's um, it Better than this, if you're in a third-party situation, let that go. Let that go. It's meant for you to come back, but... Don't put yourself in a situation and look at you. You're stuck. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. When you put yourself, when, when, when we find ourselves in these type of situations, we tend to end up becoming stuck. And when I say stuck, it's like our life becomes, because I'm not going to lie to you. When I go through certain things, like I become paralyzed. Um, when I, when I don't have answers or I don't understand something in particular, I get paralyzed. So, you got to come out of this stuck energy in the only way. Exactly. See, shift your focus to clear the energy. The only way. And then I say, I felt like you guys were giving each other the silent treatment. And you have split energy. You're unfocused. You're not able to decide um, what it is that you really want or, you know, what direction that you're trying to go into. So, it split your energy and has made you very unbalanced. Um... But they're also saying, do give a, gen a grand gesture, um, engagement, wedding, rejoicing, your union. So, like I said, I see the time to go and time to go to see. Okay, so when I say time to go to see, it's time for you to go and, like I say, do your healing. Um, cleanse yourself of whatever negative energies you might feel um, of any 
of your energy being split. You understand? Like shifting your energy. You going and you doing this cleansing is going to help you shift your energy. All right. And then we have ascend. So it's time for you to vibrate higher. It's time for you to vibrate at a higher frequency so you can attract what it is that you really want. And like I say, it doesn't necessarily mean that this might be over for you and your person, even though, like I say, it just might be, though, because we have the death card, the universe, the wheel of fortune, and justice. That's bananas. That is bananas. So, in my book, and then the death card came out twice. So, that just means more likely this is dead, it's over, it's time for you to shift your energy. Or at least it's dead and over for now. But it's time for you to shift your energy. All right, we're going to go get us a soul message and then we're going to wrap this up. Um, what spirit message do we have for the Virgo? Look, forgiveness. Oh, I said Virgo. I'm sorry. You dealing with a Virgo? I just, yeah, where did that come from? Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So they're saying right now it's time for you to forgive yourself and forgive your person. Okay, my Torian. Um, I really did enjoy this reading. Again, you know, don't ever downplay your self-worth in order to you know fit in with someone and I get it because I've been there before sometimes we go into things blindly and that's what I feel like right here see what I mean the magician how she's blindly trying to throw at that target it was something it was some pieces of information that you felt as though that you needed you understand? Like, that you needed to know, but you didn't, you just couldn't put your finger on it, and this person wasn't providing it for you. But at some point, with that high priestess coming out, yeah, you decided, nah, something's not making sense, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. You know, the high priestess, you know, she's the keeper of secrets, you know? She's going to use her intuition or whatever other resources she has to in order for her to get the information that she needs to know. So, thank you again, my Tauruses, for stopping by. I hope this message resonates, and I hope you guys have an awesome and amazing rest of the Leo season um, in August. Um, again, forgiveness goes a long way. It's not just for you. It's for the other person. It's not for the other person. It's for you as well. You have to have that peace to be able to move on. So, namaste. Peace.